Hi, my friends. Today I'm uh, near the the Caroubier bus station, the Algiers main bus station. And I'm going to show you how to drive to uh, Babzouar, one of the suburbs of Algiers in the eastern part of the capital city. So today is a beautiful sunny day of July. Uh, it's in the early afternoon. I rarely venture to film a video uh, <clears throat> on a sunny day like this because my old, my my, uh, my phone overheats. The phone that I use in order to film this uh, these videos overheats. So I didn't see that uh, speed bump and this is the bus station the Algiers bus station so let's circle this roundabout here in order to show it one last time this is one of the main portals here and buses leave this portal in order to go uh, to their destination and uh, of course this bus station has buses that service all of Algeria's areas practically every single town Every single city here in Algeria uh, is serviced by this uh, bus, uh, bus station, yes. <clears throat> and it's known as La Garoudière or the Caroubier bus station. Garoudière du Caroubier. So uh, you can see that footbridge over there. There is a huge parking lot on my right. We are still in the area of Caroubia and that footbridge will lead you to the, the sublet uh, to the sublet uh, walkway on the seashore, it's on the left. If you want to go to Husinda you take the right, if you want to go to Binakunun you take the second right. So you will be going to Binakunun via the uh, the Wedushayah tunnel. And the main portal to uh, to the sublet walkway is on the left. And now we are approaching the El Harash River Bridge, one of the bridges that crosses the El Harash River here in Algiers. And you can see the Algiers Mosque, the third largest mosque in the world, guys. Third largest mosque in the world with the tallest minaret in the world. So that structure you see there is a minaret. And the minaret is a structure, is part of the, uh, is, is that part of the mosque from where uh, the, the, the muezzin, as they call it in English, uh, calls Muslims uh, to the prayer. So the call for the prayer in, in traditional mosques is delivered from, uh, from the, the minaret. It's a Friday afternoon and uh, as you can see there is not much traffic. That's why I, I'm trying to seize the opportunity in order to film a, a road trip. And the mosque is on the right. It's a huge mosque. Uh, with, uh, which can accommodate, I think, uh, 200,000 people, 200,000 worshippers, if I'm not mistaken. There is a garden here, near the mosque. And we are in the area of Ardis. Ardis is uh, Algiers' largest supermarket. If you want to visit it, take the road on the right. Although, regrettably, there is no sign indicating that there is a supermarket around here. Oh, you take this entrance, this entrance too, it's on the right. It would lead you to, will lead you to the supermarket and the fair. And the Algiers fair is on the left. Palais des officially known as pa the Palais des Expositions or the Palace of Exhibits or the Palace of Exhibitions. <clears throat> it's in fact a complex with lots of halls, with lots of uh, exhibition halls.
Okay, let's go. Let's take the right lane because we are approaching the Bebzoar Bridge. It's so hot. Well, it's normal. It's a, a July day. We are in, in the summer. to be careful where traffic is fluid like this because there are lots of uh, careless drivers all right so this is the Bebzoar bridge or the entrance to Bebzoar the Bebzoar bridge is over there it's the white bridge now let's enter this area got to slow down guys I'm running at 40 kilometers per hour so from 80 kilometers per hour on that uh, section of the motorway the northern bypass motorway to 40 kilometers per hour You've got to do it carefully slow down progressively the bridge is on my left it leads to uh, okay there is a stop sign here we stop great so as I told you uh, the bridge leads to Borch Kifan on the seashore. So now if you want to go to El Harash or return to central Algiers, you take the right. If you want to drive onto Bebzoar, you drive straight on. And now this is one of the main uh, roundabouts here. It's usually busy. It's, it, this place here is crippled with traffic. It is literally crippled with traffic on an ordinary day, on a weekday. So uh, that's it. Let's take advantage and drive on a, a Friday afternoon. I, can, I almost can't believe that there is no traffic here now. There is traffic here all day long from perhaps uh, uh, 7.20 in the morning till uh, perhaps uh, 8 30 in, in the evening and in the summer traffic uh, lasts even longer because lots of people would come out and uh, enjoy a fresh uh, evening here with their families eating ice cream or eating dinner out or simply walking and you can see this is one of the the main street here in Bebzoar. It's a street that leads straight to uh, the University of Bebzoar. Red light. I've got to observe traffic rules. Even though there is nothing, I mean, uh, the, ro the road is mostly empty. And uh, the streetcar, I'm not going to cross the. All right, green light. Go, go ahead. I'm not going to cross the. The streetcar uh, railroad but that's it you've got to observe traffic rules no matter what because you know if uh, you are tempted to violate them you might find a, a nasty cop a nasty traffic cop waiting you around the corner and it's like it's, it's just like in the movies and this happens in real life even here in Algeria and I was only caught once by a traffic cop for speeding. It was a radar, a speeding radar uh, between Ain Binyan and Stawali near Club Dipin. And it was unfortunate because my, I, you know, I never, I almost never uh, violate traffic rules. But that day I got caught. It was such a shame, and I got. Uh, a suspension of three months uh, my, my driver's license was suspended for three months I was really mad you know <laughs> me getting uh, fined and having a, a driver's license suspension so now this is uh, uh, a crossroads one of the most important crossroads here in, in Bebzoar 
this uh, the, the Bebzoar Science and Technology University is on the right somebody is calling me but I can't I can't reply because I'm filming a video so let's see who this is okay, sorry I can't talk call me back later and now uh, the apartment complex on the left is known as the Somam apartment complex it only took us 10 minutes in order to drive from the bus station from the main uh, Algiers bus station to uh, Bebzoar, to the central part of Bebzoar it's almost unbelievable and you can see how uh, motorways work miracles even in in cities where uh, traffic is crippling on other days and that beautiful structure you see over there that beautiful building is the Marriott it is a hotel and uh, it's located in an area in the area where the Bebzoar shopping mall is located too I have only been uh, twice to the Bebzoar shopping mall and uh, I liked it and now let's turn around here at this roundabout okay there is a stop sign stop let uh, oncoming traffic go and now let's go so that was our visit from uh, the Algiers main uh, bus station to uh, to Bebzoar uh, there are some interesting things to explore here in Bebzoar behind this hotel I will let you discover them by yourselves and now uh, I hope that you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button in order to receive notifications about my future videos uh, drive safely visit Algiers take care of yourselves and goodbye